Hi, good afternoon everyone. Um, I see you've already had some coffee and feeling a bit refreshed. That's good because I have 50 slides in here. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I would like to start these presentations with a fun but usually shocking news for men about women. Um, do you know that in one day, women can um, potentially use up to 80 beauty products in one day? Let me say that again. There are 80 beauty products that women can potentially use in one day. So what are those products? It's ranging from hair care to nail care and it comes from a variety of brands. And what's complicated about buying beauty products, unlike fashions, that it takes research. It takes peer recommendations, it takes product to product comparisons, um, sometimes even sampling experience before we can commit on buying new products. So it's a long process, it's a complicated process, and this is where Female Daily is happy to help and be a part of the process. Um, my name is Hanifa Ambadar, I'm the CEO here. I graduated from Maryville University in the US uh, with an MBA degree. I had retail and community management. Uh, my co-founder is on the right here. Um, her name is Afi. She used to be the first employer of MAC Cosmetics here in Indonesia. She helped build the company to be the number one selling brands in the area. We both um, established Female Daily in 2009. The middle one is Novita. She used to be the first few members of Female Daily, then she joined as angel investors in 2011, um, and then she became our operational director. I think the story uh, about angel investors turning into operational directors only happens in Female Daily. Um, they are here um, at the corner there. Uh, please say hi after the events. Um, right now, we have 38 team members uh, in the office. Uh, with the recent hires as um, head of product development from China, uh, we also have sales director, digital marketing, and growth hacker. We believe that we have the right people to move the company forward. Oh, by the way, after the angel investors, we were invested by uh, uh, by uh, IdeoSource uh, as well as uh, Convergent Ventures and SMDV last year for Series A. So, what is Female Daily? Female Daily is essentially beauty content meets beauty community, and soon we hope to close the loop with beauty social commerce. In the um, content sections, we have this beauty review platform. This is where our users are reviewing the beauty products they have used. Um, they're giving recommendations. They're following um, other beauty enthusiasts. They can also find um, any products in here based on their skin type, based on their skin need, based on their budgets, um, and also age. We are receiving around 10,000 reviews every month. We also have this forum, this is where they have a deeper discussions, um, they have questions and answers. And um, when you put a lot of women uh, in one place, of course, they're not going to talk about one thing. Uh, even though beauty is the most talked about topics in here, they talk about everything under the sun from uh, parenting, traveling, to financial, to anything basically. Um, so the beauty review platform and the forum discussions earlier was more user-generated content. We also have the professional-generated content, which is um, our editorial. We also big on video. Uh, we have garnered more than 3 million views so far. Uh, we work a lot with vloggers, with beauty influencers, uh, as well as beauty bloggers. Now let's talk about our community. Um, right now we are the biggest uh, female community in Indonesia. They, our community is not only active online, but also offline. In our office, we have a community center. That's where we hold uh, all of our community events, from yoga classes to beauty workshop to financial talk show. Uh, and all of these, uh, most of the events are sponsored by brands. Um, our community are very supportive. Uh, they are they are the decision makers in the family. They are also trendsetters, especially when it comes to beauty um, and technology. Um, they are not afraid to try um, new products. 
And what's interesting is when you see uh, these women in female daily, it's not just some random women, but we know their um, detail, their data profile, and their beauty profile really, really well. Um, for example, um, we know like their age, we know their skin type, their skin tone, we know which group has frizzy hair, which one has uh, straight hair, uh, we know their favorite lipsticks, we also know like their favorite brands uh, and also what's on their wish list. So we know them really, really well. We uh, built the platform to, to serve our advertisers a very targeted audience. This will also come in handy when we build our beauty social commerce next year because we know precisely uh, what to give uh, recommendations to each one of them. We have a growing list of happy clients. We have been able to monetize the business since day one um, through advertising, uh, content creations, community ma management events. Um, data profilings. Um, our clients are not only beauty clients, but also FMCG, automotive, um, airlines, and hospitality industry. This is a snapshot of our growth and traffic. We hit the highest of 3.3 uh, sessions, million sessions last month, uh, with 7.6 uh, page views uh, a month last month. And this, all of this is done uh, with a very uh, minimum marketing budget. This is a snapshot of um, Indonesia's beauty market. Basically, all eyes are on Indonesia's beauty market because their sales are at an all-time high. International brands are coming in, local brands are popping up, and the buyers are embracing the options. The starting age to buy beauty products are also even younger now. So. Um, it really is uh, an exciting time for the beauty players here. As far as um, shopping experience, of course, most of them are still done traditionally offline, but we see more and more e-commerce, uh, beauty e-commerce popping up. Um, even the general e-commerce like Lazada or Zalora, they have their own beauty sections in the e-commerce. But the thing about e-commerce is it's very transactional. So female daily role in here is adding that social layer to the whole buying experience. Um, we help give, uh, give our readers, uh, which is their target market, uh, very uh, an informed buying decisions. We also help bring traffic to this e-commerce. There are a few companies outside of Indonesia similar to female daily, which are already much more developed. For example, at Cosme Japan, they are listed in Tokyo Stock Exchange. Um, Mela apps is valued at 200 million US dollar from China and also I don't know how to <laughs> pronounce it this I think it's Xia Hongshu from China it's also it's a 1 billion dollar company so what's next um, we are fundraising for our series B is starting in September um, we are gonna use the money to fund all of this three uh, developments. Our goal is to be the trusted brand um, authority, the trusted authority for, for our beauty industries from brand's perspective as well as from consumer perspective. So we plan to have our presence in every beauty retailers and every beauty uh, counters, salons, spa, as well as beauty clinics in Indonesia. Um, we will be soon developing our mobile apps. Um, after that, then we're shifting into the B2C uh, model, monetizing through our uh, consumers, our community, with the beauty, social commerce, and the uh, salon and spa uh, booking platform. So that's what's next. We are, um, we're really excited for what's ahead of us. Uh, we know we have evolved, but we haven't exploded. Um, we believe that we have the right roadmap a clear roadmap uh, to strengthen our dominations in this space. So um, if you want to be a part of our awesome journey, please keep in touch. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Any questions for Hanifa? Questions? Okay, do, do you want to highlight anything uh, for your last words? Um, no, I think that's okay. it. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.